Hey guys, Big Nick here, and um, I'm just here giving you an update video on the big wrestling news that happened last night. And that is the signing of four major stars, well, two major, and two good and two good wrestlers from New Japan Pro Wrestling. And that is, WWE has signed Luke Gallows, well, Doc Gallows, formerly known as Luke Gallows, Machine Gun Carl Anderson, Shinzuke Nakamura, and the phenomenal one AJ Styles. This is big news coming out of last night, and this is one of the biggest signings I think Triple H has done. This is one of the biggest signings that WWE's ever done since... Relative to the Attitude Era when they brought in the likes of Benoit, Guerrero, Malenko, and Perry Saturn. This is big news because for years, ever since he left TNA, the, all us fans wanted AJ Styles to come to WWE. And now we finally have it. Uh, the signing of Gallows and Carl Anderson, I kind of... I'm a good signing. Gallows is coming back to WWE, so he has another chance. And nice to see Machine Gun Carl Anderson come. He has a few, He's had a past with... Uh, Current head trainer in NXT, Jason Albert, a.k.a. A-Train. So that'll be interesting there how they go together. They were former tag team partners in New Japan. I think they were tag team champions as well. And Nakamura, who is one of Japan's top stars since 2002, the same year that AJ Styles debuted, Cena, Orton, Lesnar, and Batista. So they have now him. And this is going to be an interesting signing because WWE, we all know them in the international market. Uh, they brought Del Rio back because they wanted a Mexican star. And now that the signing of Nakamura to have a top Japanese star to go with Itami when he comes back from his injury. And Asuka in the female division. So it seems that Triple H is really trying to make sure NXT has some top guys. So when they go torn. But uh, I waited to do this video because I was waiting to see more on the news. And there is more. And that is AJ Styles and Nakamura's deals both seem to be that they are going to be main roster deals. So that doesn't mean they're going to NXT. There's rumors saying they may have a couple matches to get to the WWE to the WWE style of wrestling. So they're going to see a couple matches there, and then they'll be right to the main roster full time. Uh, Gallows and Anderson, I see them. It seems to be their deals may be NXT deals, but I kind of see why they would they should stay in NXT because they are a tag team, and the WWE's main tag team division is kind of being run by the New Day, the Dudleys, Usos, and Lucha Dragons. The Ascension's rarely seen, and the matter those haven't been seen for a while. Know the rumor about them. Um, we all know Dark Gallows. He was formerly known as Luke Gallows and Festus in WWE. He went to TNA as Doc, part of the Aces and Eights. So this is a. And then he went. Then when he left TNA, he went to New Japan with Carl Anderson. They, he, AJ Styles, and Carl Anderson were part of the famous faction of the independent scene, Bullet Club. And also on New Japan's TV show. I believe it was a TV show they had last night. This was their first show after the Wrestle Kingdom 10, where that the four wrestlers told their promoter Gato that they are leaving the company for WWE. The Bullet Club turned on AJ Styles. Looks like uh, the guy who's running it now is Kenny Omega. So they officially wrote AJ Styles off, and some of the reports I read is that that Nakamura and AJ are rumored that WWE had rumored plans to put them in the Rumble, since as of last night the Rumble is now for the WWE title. So this would be, that would be fun to see AJ in the Rumble, possibly last a while, maybe to the Final Four. He, he's not going to win, we all know that, if he's in it. Um, it'll be fun for Nakamura, I read that it's not going to be anytime soon for him coming to WWE, because he is the current IWGP Intercontinental Champion, so he has to drop the belt, and it's the opposite of the Rio, where the Rio is allowed to come up with, the Rio came over, won the US title, and then went to go drop, then was allowed to drop the, I believe, the AAA world title a few weeks or days later uh carl anderson and, and carl anderson and gallows were a part of the bullet club beating down aj styles well they didn't lay a hand on him they stayed with the bucks and kenny omega that's gonna be fun how new japan works that there because gallows and anderson are coming to wwe with aj but it seems that aj is the first one to go and then maybe down the line we'll see the bullet club turn on anderson and gallows and the new leader of the Bullet Club, Kenny Omega, had also announced that he is stepping up from junior. He's no longer a junior, that he's going to step up to the heavyweight belts. And his first goal is to take the IWGP Intercontinental title from Nakamura. So that's probably where Nakamura is going to lose the belt to. And it's interesting to see what they're going to do with on the main roster in NXT. Because we know the Balor Club, Finn Balor, when he was a part of Bullet Club as Prince Devitt. 
he was the supposed leader, and then AJ took the role, so that's going to be interesting how they worked that there. Um, so Gallows and Anderson looks like they'll probably still be a tag team. They're going to look like they're going to remain in NXT for a while, then get called up, because the tag, team, the tag team division in both NXT and the WWE main roster is kind of stacked at the moment. That's why we still haven't seen the guys that, like the Vaude Villains, Blake and Murphy, and Enzo and Cass get called up to the main roster. Um, so yeah, it was a really, really interesting past, I'd say, 16 hours since I learned about it. That was it. Yeah, about about 16 hours since I learned about it last night. Heard about heard it during Raw, which at the same time everyone heard it, well, mostly everyone heard it, which is about around the second hour of Raw. And ever since then, I've been seeing videos and news. Triple H once again broke the internet. And this is a big coup for him because ever since he's taken over NXT, Triple H has just been on a sign-in frenzy. This is almost like the days of Vince McMahon, Eric Bischoff, and Paul Heyman during the Attitude Era. Where they were just going ham, signing en everyone who was a free agent or was support or had their contract expiring. So it's been a big, big day. Since he's taken over, Triple H has signed guys like Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Hideo Itami, Finn Balor, Apollo Crews, Samoa Joe. Um, he brought, they brought back Del Rio, they brought the Dud he brought the Dudleys back, he also brought in Asuka to NXT, so, this is an interesting time, and also, the, the, the Gallows and Anderson thing was kind of intriguing to me, because we all know Gallows had his failed run in WWE, his failed run in TNA, and... I guess bringing him with Anderson's because I see the Anderson thing because there's a rumor saying that he had was in negotiations with TNA for a contract, but then stopped that when he got the WWE deal. And I kind of see that as WWE getting back at TNA because I remember reading a while, maybe a month or two ago, that WWE was interested in the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, the Kingdom, Matt Taven, and Michael Bennett. We all know Bennett; he's the husband of Maria. And then I remember reading last month that Bennett. Has done with Ring of Honor. He and his wife Maria are going to TNA, and WWE had interest in him. So I kind of see them signing Carl Anderson as a way to get back at TNA for taking Michael Bennett. Because WWE, for some reason, is looks like they're trying to sign uh, the independent tag teams. Because there's also rumors they're looking at Red Dragon. They were, had interest in the Bucks. So listen, they're trying to revigorate the tag team division, and they're also in, there's also interest in the Hardys. So we'll see how that goes, and. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Breaking news, as I said earlier, AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Carl Anderson and Machine Gun, Machine Gun Carl Anderson and, Luke, and Doc Gallows uh, going to WWE, Gallows returning. And it seems that AJ Styles and Nakamura would be on the main roster, I'd say, before during WrestleMania season. I expect Nakamura's title drop to come within the up-and-coming couple months. I do remember also reading that both Nakam that Nakamura and Gallows and Carl Anderson have... Ring of Honor dates that they're going to honor. So they're going to do those Ring of Honor dates in, I believe it said February. So that means AJ Styles is the one who's free to come anytime, immediately. I remember reading saying he is done with Ring of Honor. He has no contract with New Japan. He was written off television uh, last night with the Bullet Club turning on him. So it's going to see how that works, when he's going to debut, where. Raw, Raw SmackDown, The Rumble, NXT. And he and it's gonna be interesting because he has a, some past histories with the Dudleys, Samoa Joe. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's just them. Yeah, so he's had past with them. I remember I remember seeing many matches with him against the Dud Team 3D when they were in TNA and Samoa Joe. Some of the great X Division title matches. Uh, I think world. I think they had a couple world title matches. Um, they also had a history with guys who were in the back like Road Dog. Kevin Nash, who were in Triple H's ear with some of his boys, and it's gonna be fun to see who, who matches he does. Like we find, we finally get to see him versus Orton when he comes back from his injury. John Cena, and then when Joe gets called up, we get to see him against them. We get to see how they're gonna work the whole Ballot Club situation with if he goes right to NXT first, then comes up because we know the Ballot Club is to kind of Finn Balor going back at the Bullet Club. See how that works. And with Nakamura, see what they're gonna do with him. So yeah, guys, leave like leave your thoughts down in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think about the sign-ins. Like, where do you see AJ Styles, Nakamura, and Anderson and Gallows playing out in WWE's immediate future? 
Like me personally, I see Gallows and Carl Anderson maybe being middle tier tag team. Nakamura being a, probably a top mid card guy like Ziggler, Ambrose, and Owens. And I see AJ Styles. I don't see AJ Styles being as big as he was in TNA and New Japan because of the way the landscape is that WWE is focusing their main event scene on around Reigns, Rollins, Orton, and Cena still. And AJ is as, around the same age as Cena and Orton, so his time is limited as well to how long. I'd say maybe WWE would go at him maybe a good five, six years before AJ decides to hang it up. So maybe maybe he'll get one or two title reigns, WWE title reigns at the time, but I do see him mainly being Intercontinental title picture and U.S. title picture. Same thing with Nakamura. I don't see Nakamura ever being WWE champion. WWE champion. I just don't see it. And Anderson and Gallows, I see them being the middle tier tag team. Like they will be tag team champions, but not to the greatness of the New Day, the Usos, like that. So yeah, leave your comment section where you think that their future will lie. And next week, you may have I may have another video for you guys next week. So look forward around Monday, Tuesday, and I will see you guys again. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.